YouTube. What's going on, everybody? We are live. Today's Sunday dryland training session. If you guys joined us for the World Swim Gala last night, that was super awesome. Thanks for tuning in. It's pretty epic. I'm gonna go ahead and make this full screen. This is cutting off your heads. It's okay. You can tilt it down if you want. And the computer, too. We're gonna go ahead and do some side taps to start things out. You can move the, the YouTube camera closer to me. That way you can tilt the screen down on my computer. Woo -hoo -hoo. Maybe you can tilt my computer down a little bit. A little bit more. more. Good. Alright guys, I hope you're doing super well. Today's Sunday workout is going to be focused on the core. So right now I'm tapping side to side. So go ahead and do what I'm doing. Side to side, tap, tap. Yeah, there it is. We're just getting the heart rate up. So it's really important you do a dynamic warm up before any kind of a workout because you need to get your heart rate elevated, get the blood flowing. You want to be dynamic. You don't want to be holding the stretch or anything like that. So this is kind of going to get a little bit boring. So we're going to mix it up. We're going to do jumping jacks. Ready? Here we go. Jumping jacks. We're just getting the heart rate up. That's all. Getting the heart rate up. Bouncing up and down is a good way to get the heart rate up. If you have a jump rope, highly recommend it. So today's workout is actually going to be from the My Swim Pro apps. If you look for dry land training programs, specifically for swimming, we've got them for you. All right, we're going to do cross jacks. The way you start with cross jacks, open arms, you cross, and up, and then other side. Oh yeah, welcome guys from around the world. Dry land training session. If you were not able to attend the World Swim Gala yesterday, we will be posting it online this week, so stay tuned for that. Woo! Good, shake it up, shake it up. My legs are tingly after that one. We're gonna do standing march. Lift your knee up, down. Standing march. Good. Don't worry, we're gonna get faster. <laughs> Focus on keeping your body nice and straight, flat, tall. Standing march. Good, now for those of you who can, we're gonna do high knees. I'm gonna rotate to the side. You can see what I'm doing. We're gonna go high knees. Bounce, 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 bounce. Get those knees up. Get those knees up, get that heart rate up. We're gonna transition to butt kicks. You're gonna kick your butt. We're gonna start out from the march. Good. Now we're gonna add a little bit of a pop to it. We're gonna bounce. Whoop! Nice. Good, butt kicks. We're gonna go arm swings. We're swimmers, we love this one. Today is a core workout, so we're really gonna kill the core today. Total body, but it's core focus. Get the arms nice and loose, kick it out. Woo! Do some tricep swings. Okay, go ahead and do some arm circles with me. We're gonna do small arm circles. Now, while you're doing the arm circles, small forward, small backwards. I want you guys to find a couch or a chair you're going to continue doing this while sitting down. If you can, medium forward, medium forward, medium backwards. Now while you're doing arm circles, you're going to stick one leg out, you're going to rotate your ankle. It's a multi-coordination right now. Rotate the other way. Your arms and your ankles should be getting tired, and your hip flexor. Okay, shake out your arms, we got to do the other leg. Arm circles. Circle with your foot. Yeah, feel the burn. Rotate your ankle the other way. Rotate your arms backwards. Feel the burn in the shoulders and the arms. You need this. Yes. Okay, check it out. We're going to go backstroke while sitting in the chair or on the couch. You're going to lift one leg out. Raise your arm like you're doing backstroke. Bring it down. Opposite. Good. On my count. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, go ahead and stand up. We're going to get the hamstrings nice and warm. Dynamic warm up here. We're going to stretch. This is a dynamic stretch. This is your hamstring. Other leg. Good. 
Like I mentioned, today is a core day. We are going to work on the core. If you're just joining, welcome to the Dryland Training Session live. My student room. People are joining us from around the world. So awesome to have you with us. Today's workout is focused on the core. So hopefully you got your heart rate a little bit up in that dynamic warm up. We're about to do some core exercises. Meet me on the ground with your mat. All right, the first dry land that we're gonna do is called the bear crawl. Ooh, this is fun. So you're literally going to be in a bear position. I'm on all fours, my knees are off the ground, and we're gonna take steps forward, steps backwards. Go ahead and do it with me, here we go. We're walking forward, and then you walk backwards a few steps. Your space will determine how far you can walk. Maybe three or four steps forward, three or four backward. The idea is be controlled. You should feel this in your core. Oh, I definitely feel this. I hope you guys do too. So you're gonna go on my pace. Keep going, keep going. We're going front to back, front to back. Keep going, keep going. We're doing the core. You should be feeling this in the core. Good, a couple more. Stay with me. Stay with me now. Stay with me. Crawl, crawl, crawl. You're not on your knees, ideally. And relax, good. You're gonna switch it, we're gonna go lateral now. So you're actually gonna go from side to side. I'll give you guys a demonstration. This is the crawl, you can tilt my computer down just a little bit. Yep, 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 good. So you're, you're on your knees, and then you're gonna go laterally, okay? We're going in three, two, one. On all fours, small steps. You should feel this across your abdominal wall. Oh, I definitely feel it. If you think this is easy, you should put a child on your back. Or get a weight vest, I don't know. <laughs> side to side, side to side. <laughs> you know, all of these exercises that we're doing are really designed for total body, core specifically, and swimming as well. We're still going lateral, side to side. If you want more exercises like this, you should check out the My Swim Pro app. We've got dry land training programs specifically for swimmers. And relax. Woo! I'm definitely feeling that in the core. Okay, we're not done with the bear curls yet. We're gonna go another few variations. I heard, I heard some excitement, some cheering, that's good. We're gonna do the crab walk low. Crab walk is on your forms, other way around. So you're like this, your butt is just off of the ground. We're gonna go forward and backward, just like we did with the crab walk. Here we go. Ready, go. Taking some walks, nice and slow. The goal is to keep your butt off the ground if you can. Don't put a lot of pressure on your wrists. This is not a race. You're not trying to go anywhere fast. You're like a turtle. Turtles don't move very fast. That's okay. Now you don't wanna be a turtle in the pool. A turtle in the pool is slow. All the turtles can swim really fast. Any of, you guys, any of you guys have a turtle? All right, we're still going forward and backwards. Still going, still going, still going. Oh yeah. If you feel it in the wrist, you can might maybe put your hands out a little bit wider. Put some pressure off the wrist. Okay, butt down, relax, good. So we're gonna go lateral crab walk. How do you do that? You do the same thing, but you go sideways. So, we're gonna go in three. Two, one, lateral, oh yeah. So this is actually a dynamic warm up. So if you guys think this is the main circuit, we're still actually warming up our core. This is for your butt, your lower back, your hamstrings. We're going lateral crawls. Again, I don't want you to take big steps, that'll hurt your wrists. Nice and small, just try and balance. One more over here. Good, relax. Okay, we're gonna go forward, backward in a high crab walk. So this is actually gonna use your hamstrings a lot. If you imagine when you push off the wall, if you do dolphin kick or freestyle kick off the wall underwater, this is what you're doing. You're gonna be on all fours, you're gonna lift into a bridge, you're gonna get your body flat, and you're gonna walk like this. We're going in three, two, one. Small steps, try and keep your pelvis up to the ceiling. Baby small steps, don't let your butt sink, and then back. Remember, small steps. If you can't take baby steps, just hold the position. Try and hold your hips up as high as you can. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it with me now. If you're stepping, great, keep stepping. If you can hold it, just hold it here with me. Feels good. If you want to be advanced, just go one leg. 
Hold it up. Switch your legs if you want. Good. And relax. Excellent. I think that completes our warm up. Nope, we have one more thing in the warm up of the crab walk. So we're going to go back to our stomach. Round all fours. We're going to lift up. Our knees are off the ground. And we're going to alternate. We're going to take our, step, our leg back. We're going to hold it flat. Now notice, I'm not on my knee. If you need to stay on your knee, that's fine. I'd like to see you right here. Go ahead and join me with one leg up. Three, two, one. Join me. One leg up. Put that leg down. Other leg. You should be on three points of contact. Right hand, left hand, foot. Not me. If you can be on your knee, that's fine. Good. Put that leg in. Now go one arm. Now you're on foot, foot, hand. Switch. Foot, foot, hand. Good. Now we need all fours. Now if you're advanced, you go opposite, opposite. Here we go. Raise right and left. You're on your foot and your hand. Switch. Hold it. Where my pros at? Hold it. Good. Take a deep breath and put them both down. Relax. Woo! That completes phase one of our core warm up. Yes, that was the warm up. Now we're going to get into the fun stuff. Woo! Wait, you're saying that wasn't fun? That was plenty of fun. We're going to get to have more fun right now. We are going to go dead bug. Who's my favorite? If you have a Swiss ball, you can do it with a Swiss ball on your legs. Dead bug, pretty simple. You're on your back. Woo! You're going to have your knees up, arms up. If you have a Swiss ball, the Swiss ball will go right here. If not, you just put your hands up. You're going to drop one leg and the opposite arm. Don't let it touch the ground. Bring it up. You want to keep your core tight. We're going to go 20 total. Here we go. Three, two, one. Whoop. One. Two. You can go on my pace or faster. Three. Don't go too fast, though. Four. Five, six, seven, a lot of mental strength here, eight, nine, ten, you should feel the hamstrings, I'm sorry, the hip flexor, not the hamstrings, eleven, twelve, thirteen, go on twenty, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nice job. Go ahead and give yourself a round of applause. That was awesome. Our next movement in our core workout circuit is going to be the alternating straight leg jackknife. This is where you lie on your back. Your legs are on the ground. Your feet are on the ground. You're going to lift your leg. In your opposite hand, you're going to try and touch your toe. And you're going to relax. We're going to go 20 of those. You alternate each repetition. Here we go. Three, two, one. Up. One. Two. Three. You can touch your toe. Great. Four. If not, fine. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, I feel this in the ass, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, nice job everybody, there we go, alright now our third movement in our core circuit main set, we're going to go Russian twist, so if you're not familiar with Russian twist, grab a baby, maybe you've got a cute stuffed animal, look at this guy. And he's so cute. Look at him. What's this guy called? Mr. Go. This is Mr. Go. Mr. Go. He's from Korea. What's up, Korea? So we're going to go Russian twist. We're going to go 20 total. Here we go. Go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mr. Go likes it. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Relax. Good. If you didn't grab a Mr. Go, grab a medicine ball, a small child, a little toilet paper. Grab some weight on this one. We're going to do that one more time. And I want you guys to really focus on rotation. This is not a Russian twist. you got to get your rotation. Rotate that upper body side to side. We're going to go 20 more. I want you to add weight if you have it. And I want you to go faster with more rotation. Let's get it. Here we go. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nice job. I feel that in the 
hip flexors. Hip flexor is the thing that connects your legs to your body. Very important in swimming. Every time you push off a wall, dolphin kick, flutter kick, all super, super important. Our next movement is going to be crunches. Actually, I'm going to keep Mr. Go with me. So, we're going to go on our back. I want your legs to be at 90 degrees right here off the ground. Put your hands in a straight line. We're going to crunch to the ceiling. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nice. All right, go ahead and grab your Mr. Go. If you have one, grab a child, grab a medicine ball, anything you'd like. We're going to go that again. If you don't have any weight, no problem. Just go streamline to the ceiling. I got Mr. Go with me. Mr. Go, are you ready to have some fun? He's ready to have some fun. Here we go. Legs up. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Nice. Bring it all the way up for a sit up. Good. Now while we're still on the ground, we're going to make sure we work the opposite part of our core. All those exercises we just did, take your abs, your hip flexors, your quads a little bit. We're going to rotate it. We're going to work on our hamstrings and butt muscles. Yeah. We're going to put our feet right in our butt. Bring your heels to the butt as much as you can. We're going to hip bridge up. Now the goal here is to be on your shoulders and on your heels. It should be a straight line from your knees all the way to your shoulders. We're gonna go 10 total. Maybe right. you three, two, one. One, two, three. Big squeeze at the top. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Cool. We're going to do that one more time. We're going to go 10 more. Now on this one, we're going to add a little bit of a hold at the top. So when we go to the top, you're going to hold it right here for just a little bit. Go on my count. We're going to leave in three for 10. Two, one, go. One, hold. Two, hold. Three, hold. Four, hold it up there. Five, you should feel it in the butt. Six, seven, hold. Eight, stay with me, hold it. Relax, two more. Nine, and hold. Yeah, hold it, hold it, hold it. And down, 10, we're gonna hold it at the top. And 10, hold. Feel that burn and relax. That's how you get stronger, feel the burn. Now we got one more exercise in this circuit. We're gonna go single leg hip bridge. So the same exact thing that we just did, but we're gonna do it with one leg, all right? Let's do it with one leg. So you're gonna start out, put your heel as far back as you can. Other leg is gonna be straight off the ground. Put your hands on the ground for support. Here we go. We're gonna go five each leg to start. Up, one. Two, three, four, five. Good, now we're gonna switch legs. If you can go both legs, you can't do one, that's fine. Try and get your hips up. Here we go, other leg, five. One, two, three, four, five. Nice job, go ahead and give your legs a hug. Stretch out your lower back. Go ahead and hug your body nice and tight. Yeah, you love your legs, you love your body. It's great. Go ahead and rock with me. Woo, like a little baby. Woo. Which Mr. Go with? <laughs> All right, we have one more circuit, and this is gonna be the hardest circuit that we do of the day. So if you're joining me just now, welcome. You've come at the right time. This is a fun. In my opinion, hopefully this is all fun for you guys. Before we get started with this circuit, go ahead and get a water break if you need it. I'll get a water break, why not? There we go. Stay hydrated, my friends. 
Okay, this last circuit, we're gonna go three exercises, and we're gonna go five rounds. Woo, five rounds, you're crazy, right? Yes, I am. We're gonna go three exercises, you determine how many repetitions you do of each exercise. The first one is gonna be push-ups, then we're gonna do leg raises, then we're gonna do squats. I'm gonna go for 10 of each. You can go for eight, you can go for six. We're gonna keep moving, 10, 10, 10, then we take a break. 10, 10, 10, then we take a break. You can go eight, 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 take a break, eight, eight, eight. We're gonna go at my pace, so if you're advanced, I aim you shoot for 10, that's a good goal. If you're more intermediate, maybe eight, if you're a beginner, maybe four to six. I'm gonna go 10. We're gonna go 10 push ups, 10 leg raises, 10 squats, one after another. You guys ready? Get in your push up position. I'm gonna go 10. You go 10, 10, 10, or you go 8, 8, 8, whatever number you want. Try and stick with it all five rounds. We're going push ups in three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Hopefully you're done with the push-ups. Go on your back. Leg raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. On your butt. I'm sorry. On your standing. We're going squats. Here we go. One, two. Camera's good. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. If you went ten with me on that, that's awesome. If you went eight, that's great too. If you went six, perfectly good. That was round one. We're going four more rounds. If you want to modify your number, that's great too. You can go twelve. Who's going to challenge me up on twelve? I'm going to stick with ten. If you want to go twelve reps? Go for it. If you're stuck at eight, that's awesome. If you're at five, that's cool too. Here we go, round two. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On your butt, we're going leg raises. Here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Squat time. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! I feel good. That was round number two. We're almost halfway there. Take a breather. This is good. Take a breather. I'm feeling the burn. I hope you are too. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. Can we skip back five to five minutes on the song? We're not on the cool down yet. We gotta keep things moving. We're gonna go round three. Remember, you can go 10-10-10. You can go 5-5-5, five, 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 whatever you need. Just keep moving. Here's the movement. We're going round three. In three, two, one. Push-ups. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go ahead and go on your back. Go on, six, ten. Good. We're going squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Feels good. That was round three. Go ahead and give yourself a round of applause. We're more than halfway through the main circuit. Almost done. We got two more rounds and we do a fun cool down. If you guys like this workout, you're gonna love the My Swim Pro training app, different dry land training exercises, equipment, no equipment. We've got training programs for everybody, every skill level. More advanced than what we're doing, less advanced than what we're doing. We got the whole mix. We're going round four. Are you ready? Yes, 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 yes. Here we go. Gotta get my breath. Woo! Take a deep breath. Here we go. Going round three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Go ahead and do your leg raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In your squats, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, ten. Yes, yes. There we go. So we completed four of five rounds. On this final round, we're gonna make things a little bit more interesting. On round five, I want you to take the number of repetitions you're doing, and I want you to multiply it by 20% to 50%. So if you're the pros, where are my pros out there? We're gonna go 15 reps on everything. 15 push-ups, 15 leg raises, 15 squats. We're gonna go through them powerful. Good technique though, we're not gonna rush it too much. If you were doing five reps, let's go for seven. You can do this. If you're going eight, let's go for 10. Let's try and up it a little bit. Here we go, last round. If you're a pro, we're going 15 of each. 15, 15, 15, here we go. Round number five. We're going in three, two, one. Action. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, nice. Go ahead and do some leg raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Meeting at squats, we're going 15. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You rock. Excellent job, everybody. However many repetitions you did, that was awesome. You're an inspiration to me and everyone else who's doing this workout from around the world. Quick shout out, get a water break. We're gonna go into our last set, which is a dynamic cool down yoga meditation mix. It's gonna be fantastic. Get a drink of water. Ooh, this is calming music, I like it. Woo, take a deep breath. Go ahead and meet me on the ground in your butt. Okay, cross-legged Indian, whatever you want to call it. Put your hands right here, sit up tall. Take a deep breath in your nose. Exhale out of your mouth. Yeah. In your nose. Out of your mouth. Thank you for joining me on this Sunday. It's a beautiful day in April. If you're watching this in the future, Thank you for watching. Hope you guys are subscribed to all of my Swim Pro social media. Some really quick announcements. We have amazing dry land training programs available in the My Swim Pro app. We have equipment use. So if you want to use a medicine ball, if you have bands, if you have a Swiss ball, new training programs coming at you live in the app. Some training programs are free, no equipment, get started. Some are in the subscription. So let us know how you like the workouts. Take a deep breath in your nose, out your mouth. If you guys want, we can do some Q&A after this. You know, I, we'll go on Instagram, my fans on Instagram, we'll be doing some Q&A right after this, so stick around, don't go anywhere. If you're on YouTube and Facebook, go to Instagram and join the live, we'll be doing a Q&A immediately following this workout. Go ahead and stand up, we're gonna do a final stretch. I want you to put your legs just past your shoulders, have your toes pointed where your head is looking. You're gonna lean down as far as you can you're flying like a bird. Doo! Or you're an airplane. Doo! You're an airplane because you're probably not flying anywhere in the near future. Hate to say it, but it's true. So you're an airplane. Pretend you're flying. Whee! I was supposed to be on an airplane to Texas today. I live in Michigan. I was going to be in Texas. But you know what? It's good. If I was there, I wouldn't be here right now. We're running a workout with you guys. So it all works out. Go ahead and reach down. Get low. Feel it in your hamstrings. Oh, I feel it in my hamstrings. Good, we really got a good workout in today. Good job, everybody. Put your hand on the middle of the mat. You're gonna reach out and open. Put your hand to the ceiling, look to the ceiling. If you're outside, I'm jealous. Look at the sky. Take a deep breath, 
Rotate to the other side. Oh, yeah. Reach up tall, reach up tall. If you guys joined the World of Swim Gala last night, it was incredible. We had Robbie Gaines and Caitlin Sandino you know, give keynote addresses. It was pretty special. I was wearing a tuxedo. If you guys missed it, no worries. I will say you did miss out, but we will have a recording of the event on my swim pro social media available this week. You can check it out. If you do wear a tuxedo <laughs> or a dress and you watch it after the fact, make sure you share on social media with the hashtag Swim Gala and then send us a DM, we would love to see it. We're giving away prizes. We're still giving away prizes if you use the hashtag MySwimProStrength on social media. So MySwimProStrength, all one word, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, whatever, we're on all of it. Go ahead and stretch me like this runner pose, it's great. Lean in, feel a stretch right here, right here in the groin, it's great. Other side, we're gonna do one more stretch after this. Oh yeah, I feel the burn, feels good, it feels good, doesn't it? Lean in, open it up, open your chest. Oh, that's a good one. We're gonna go standing tree pose. This is a good one. Here you go, standing tree. You're gonna put your hands prayer style above your head. You can lift my computer screen up. You can lift your leg up like so. And we're just gonna, uh, we lost you, YouTube. Where are you? Where art thou, YouTube? It's upside down. <laughs> Where art thou, YouTube? Hey YouTube, we're back, we're back. We're not YouTube, I'm still with you, YouTube! <laughs> Other leg? Oh yeah, let's get balance. And I want to thank you guys for joining from around the world. Don't worry about it. Thank you for joining from around the world for this afternoon's Drylands training session. If you want more Dryland training workouts like this, easier, more difficult, go to my Swim Pro app. Dryland training beginners all the way through advanced. We have some with equipment, some without equipment, some are free, some are under the subscription. Of course, we'll be doing this dryland training program next Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern. And, forgot to mention, we're doing a dryland training program on Tuesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern on Instagram. So if you guys are on Instagram, which I know a lot of you are because you're watching this on Instagram, we're going to be going live on Instagram at 3 p.m. Myself, co-founder and CEO of my Swim Pro, and Taylor, our global marketing manager, they will be, they, me included, we will be running a dryland training program for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you join. Wishing you all the best. We're about to do a Q&A right now on Instagram. So if you guys are watching right now on Facebook, awesome. Go ahead and go to Instagram, which might be that way or this way, depending on how you're watching this. And I want to see you guys there. So Instagram, I'm coming at you right now. Here we go, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. Take care. Take it easy. And we'll see you all later. Bye-bye. We're going to Instagram now. Here we go. Can I have that one?